Joining us now is Andrew Nags, a Republican congressional candidate running to serve Virginia's 7th District. So, Andrew, you just heard right there Senator Bernie Sanders say he would like to see the Wisconsin race postponed. That's one of, I believe, 10 races this month. There's several coming up in the upcoming future. Yours isn't until June, so you have a little bit more time to kind of think about this. But do you think that's the route that states should be taking is postponing these elections for the time being? Well, actually, Alex, the, our convention was originally scheduled for April 25th. So that date, uh, with each passing day, uh, becomes less and less likely. But our uh, deciding committee has not yet made a uh, decision to uh, postpone and to push that farther out into the future. I do believe that our uh, responsibility, uh, certainly in the 7th District of Virginia, is to make sure that uh, not only are the delegates and those people that are have already agreed to participate that their voices are heard, but that uh, that we are able to keep those delegates and all of the participants safe. And when it comes to running a campaign during this time, too, I mean, this is an unprecedented time. It's a phrase that is used, uh, I mean, tirelessly now at this point, but it's true. Uh, nothing like this has necessarily ever happened, let alone in an election year. So when it comes to running your campaign, are you doing anything differently or is it kind of business as usual? Well, you're absolutely right. These are unprecedented times. I think that goes without saying. But I have dealt with crises throughout my career. And uh, I've got to tell you that uh, my thanks and my thoughts and prayers are with the first responders, the medical professionals, and now the National Guardsmen and everybody that's putting their uh, lives at risk to keep us safe and to try to get us healthy again. Yeah, think we're doing things uh, very differently. We're going to more online engagements. Uh, for example, this uh, uh, earlier today, we. Uh, held our first Zoom uh, hmm. uh, conference call. We've done multiple uh, Facebook Live events, and that's really where things are going. And that's what we've seen from a lot of candidates is the kind of forcing them to go more digital during these times. It's a strange thing, especially when you look at the presidential race. It, I mean, it was just maybe a month ago where former Vice President Joe Biden was going outside shaking hands. They were in Iowa at those fairs, eating the food, all those typical things that politicians have to do to the run up. And now they're being forced to do these live press conferences from their basement. I mean, it's something like we've never seen before, but you bring up to your experience. And I think it's a very unique one in the sense that you have a very expansive, a very impressive resume, and one of them being your time in the Defense Department. So I want to ask you during a time like this, uh, what is the priority of the government? Is it something that they're trying to just kind of uh, kind of make sure that this pandemic is kind of curbed? Are they kind of making sure that outside forces are also not being involved in this? What, what's the priority like when it comes to the government? Well, I think it's all of the above right now. The number one priority, uh, certainly of the defense architecture, is to defend the American people. And that really emanates from leadership from the top. President Trump, as the commander in chief, I would uh, personally like to applaud him for his decisive leadership. And that's really been the case uh, from the beginning of this crisis. From as far back as January 31st, when he made the decision to cut off travel from mainland China, back when the Democrats were not only vilifying him and mocking him for supposed racism and overreaction, they were also trying to impeach him. And yet, he uh, remained focused, kept government focused on doing what only the government can do right now, which is provide for the common defense, and, uh, and that is the current role of the government uh, for the time being. And the military in particular has some very specific roles in terms of uh, providing surge capacity, uh, certainly security, but also uh, logistical support as well, and we're seeing that across the country. Yeah, and we heard actually uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci say that in an interview this morning with the New York Times, he said that that decision to kind of restrict travel from China was a difficult one that they were scrutinized for at the time. And he also even referenced the one from Europe, the restrictions coming from Europe. Of course, we've seen what's happened in Italy and Spain. And he was saying that even then they were scrutinized for that decision. But in hindsight, he says that it's the right decision. And I think a little bit uh, as time moves by, we'll be able to look back and say that it might have been the right decision to make during a time where the, the coronavirus was spreading across the country. But for our viewers, I want to let them know that if you want to learn more about Andrew and his campaign, you can go to andrewnags.com. You can learn more about his agenda, everything that he's doing there. Andrew, I really appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you.